isang magandang magandang makulimlim na umaga guys Today, I'll be sharing some of my tips and tricks to save money on our motorcycle maintenance These tips and tricks are according to my experiences and advice na binigay din sa akin ng mga kakilala ko na mas may experience sa akin when it comes to motorcycles Ang pagkakaroon ng sasakyan, be it motorcycle or car isn't a small responsibility since our lives are at stake every time we use it. I would like to share these basic tips which are often overlooked by motorcycle owners. I know that some time in the past na experience na rin yung atat na atat ka na lumakad or may hinahabol kang appointment tapos biglang may issue nagtampo yung motor natin. These tips may help prevent those scenarios but mainly these tips are simply the little things we can do to take care of our motorcycles and to make sure we get the most out of the money we spent on our bikes. If pinapanood nyo to at interesado kayo, please don't forget to click the subscribe and bell notification button para informed kayo if may bago tayong videos na ina-upload. Pero before that, intro muna tayo. So, hello guys, welcome back. And first off, gusto ko lang sabihin na in my humble opinion, I would categorize riders dito sa Pinas into two groups. Meron tayong commuter at meron din tayong recreational rider. Yung una, sila yung mga nagmamotor to get to and from where they need to go. Sila yung nagmamotor araw-araw. Sila yung nagmamotor on a daily basis. Yung recreational rider naman, sila yung mga mas madalas coach yung gamit. Nagbamotor sila once in a while or weekends para mag-unwind. Regardless kung anong klaseng rider man yan or anong klaseng motor gamit natin, scooter, underbone, or big bikes, the maintenance of our motorcycles will always be a common denominator. It is an unavoidable money pit that seems to be bottomless kaya ngayon ang pag-uusapan natin ang mga simpleng bagay na pwede natin gawin para kahit pa paano makatipid so 3 words, 3 keywords natin is daily motorcycle maintenance so every time before we ride I honestly believe that we should have a pre-ride check dapat maging routine na to First and foremost para sa akin, ang pinakaunang at pinakaimportante is tire pressure. Mahalaga kasi ang tire pressure natin since um, ma mahalaga talagang in accordance with factory specifications dahil importante to sa handling ng ating motor. Um, be it low speed or high speed maneuvers. Sa mga, sa mga kapwa kong mahilig sa motor or nagmamotor dyan always remember when we get into an accident tayo ang laging talo dyan hindi issue dyan yung right of way ako nasa tama, siya yung mali nag cut siya, di siya nag preno di siya pumito, di siya nag, na nag um, indicator tayo talo dyan kasi more often than not, tayo lang yung masasaktan and tayo yung more often than not ends up in the hospital so Importante yan, yung capability natin to make high or low speed maneuvers. If na tapansin nyo sa video, um, duman tayo sandali sa, ano, sa may vulcanizing na malapit sa bahay dahil um, before ako malis ng bahay, nag-check ako ng tire pressure and medyo kulang yung ano natin, yung pressure ng, ng hangin ng gulong. Kaya dumaan muna tayo dito. Unfortunately, wala silang tire gauge. So, buti na lang may dala tayong ano, may dala tayong tire gauge na pinahiram natin kay Kuya. So, um, quick tip, yung tire gauge hindi naman siya ganoon kamahal. Um, mga nasa 100 or 200 pesos lang yata yung isa niyan. Uh, it will really really 
um, pay for itself eventually kasi um, magkano magpapalit ng gulong ngayon let's say, hindi huwag natin pag-usapan yung mga gulong ng big bikes kasi mahal yun eh. pero let's just talk about yung gulong ng mga smaller displacement motorcycles kahit naman sa smaller displacement motorcycle tingin ko nasa if, if memory serves me right, mga nasa 200 300 yata yan per, per, ano, per tire so sulit na siya uh, kasi kung hindi ayon sa factory specifications yung gulong natin mas mabilis yung wear and tear nyan kaya number one sa list ko is tire pressure next yung number two natin is liquids sa liquids natin just a quick visual ins inspection lang um, yung oil check natin uh, usually may uh, oil reservoir gauge yan uh, if walang ganun yung motor nyo um, dipstick one of the two more often than not tapos um, check din yung uh, brake fluid sa may master ng ano natin ng motor natin para makita natin kung kailangan na siyang dagdagan or okay pa siya and sa mga motor naman na naka liquid cooled yun din coolant check lang it's it won't take more than a minute to check all three so sa next naman is chain yung chain slack check lang saglit kung okay siya um, normally ang um, ang generally accepted chains lock yata is around 1 inch lock lang huwag masyadong masikip and huwag masyadong maluwang kasi pag masyadong maluwang dun na di-disconnect yung kadena eh, I've had experiences before na natatanggal yung kadena sa sprocket and sometimes delika, usually delikado yun kasi pag bumalabag yun sa gulong maglalak yung gulong natin sa likod which might lead into an accident sa sobrang sikip naman pag dumaan tayo sa may lubak mapuputol yung kadena natin and then lights and indicators basic na yun um, at saka yung sa, ano, yung sa chain natin yung lube check din natin if properly lubricated yung ano natin yung gulong ay yung gulong yung ano yung kadena tapos sa indicators check natin kung gumagana um, high beam low beam uh, indicators natin check natin and then pito at saka lastly para sa akin yung throttle levers saka yung ano natin yung brake pads visual inspection lang hindi hindi mo na kailangan baklasin yung yung motor <laughs> ma check yun tingnan mo lang kung may ano kung may may laman pa ba yung brake pads mo kasi mahirap na kung pinatakbo mo na nasa mga 60 40 80 kung walwal ka magpatakbo na sa 100 ka na saka mo nalaman wala ka palang preno so <laughs> yun uh, like i said uh, basic daily check it won't take more than 5 to 6 minutes It's for your safety. So, I hope kahit maiksing, ano lang to, maiksing video, may nakuha kayong aral and you enjoyed the video. So, if you guys like the content, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell notification para alam niya pag nag-upload kami ng mga bagong videos. Thank you very much and you guys have a good day. Ride safe lagi.